is John Reed, JDOD.com. Another Palo Alto video shoot. We've got Amit Sinha here. How you doing? Thank you, John. We're going to talk HANA, yeah. which I haven't discussed yet today, but you uh, run HANA marketing, right, amongst other things? Yep, actually I'm focused on HANA. Yeah. So there's been a lot of talk about how fast HANA is in terms of that's been a message and a lot mm -hmm. of customers have said that it is fast. Yep. But uh, what are we looking ahead to in terms of 2012 with HANA? What, is some changes underfoot? Absolutely. I think uh, it's, it's the evolution of HANA, if you will. So in 2011, we started out with real-time analytics where primarily the focus was on speed. But as we look to 2012, we have first a number of customer successes where we know the use cases now. And secondly, we also have our application colleagues building a number of applications on top of HANA that really package the business value well. So in 2012, the big message is it's real-time business on HANA, and we're going to focus on business value with HANA by industry, by lines of business, with specific uh, packaged products, whether they're accelerators, analytical solutions, or even applications in many cases. So I think you said something about a dozen apps running on HANA. I wanted to ask you about this because I talked to one early proof of concept customer quite a long time ago and asked him, well, why didn't you go ahead with HANA? This was in the summertime. He said, well, you know, we're really waiting for more out-of-the-box apps because yep. we're really looking for some business value. Is that kind of what you guys are trying to get at? And Absolutely. I, if you look at the roadmap for HANA, the first few things that have come out of the door, for example, is the SAP COPA accelerator. Within the controlling module, uh, we have profitability analysis. This is a critical pain point for our customers because of two things. One, they couldn't get this data analyzed fast enough. And second one was uh, they couldn't get the details of the data, if you will. The roll-ups kind of prevented that from happening. So we got that packaged, and we've got the implementation time down to six to eight weeks on an average. And sometimes some of the implementations have gone as fast as three weeks. So what you, really happens with Copa Accelerator is you get this magical performance for end users, whether they're in finance or in sales or general managers of business, and IT is able to get that value very, very fast, and it's very tangible. So for example, you could do a faster close, or you could analyze profitability while at a customer location to give a particular discount. So that level of detail was missing before. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an opinion on HANA, you tell me what you think. One of my problems with the original HANA message was I felt like CIOs and technical decision makers, yeah, okay, my data is faster, but I've got a wish list of business projects. I need to show more than I can deliver data fast. I need to be able to show them business impact, how that's going to help my lines of business managers, my CFO, who, by the way, is the one who can extend my contract or send me out the door. Yep. Do you think HANA is in a position to change that conversation a little bit? Absolutely. Uh, and I think uh, over 2011, we've learned with customer use cases what business value it is actually delivering. I think once you get used to the speed, next what happens is you think about what that speed enables you to do. And this is where you fundamentally alter a business process or even a business model of the company to make that change. I know Vishal talks about this example, Yodabashi, right? They have a batch process where you analyze profitability, or where you analyze loyalty by customer and profitability by customer, let's say. And this loyalty card process, it takes three days to run, it's an offline batch process. But the moment you run this on HANA, you get this sub-second, two-second kind of a response time, which means that you can take that process and you can empower every store employee to recognize a customer as they're walking through the door with a loyalty card attached to their phone, for example, mm -hmm. where uh, at that very moment, you can tell them, here's an offer that's unique for you, which changes the whole business model for the company. It, it goes from a batch process to a real-time process, from being you know, offline and less customer-centric to being very, very customer-centric, and even it has a tangible impact on the inventory of the store. So I, and what I'm seeing is, the potential of the speed to enable new business process changes is enormous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll hear some customers talking about that by Sapphire, or is that, or is that too soon? No, no, absolutely. So I think we are going to have lots of customers talk about this at Sapphire. One of the most exciting ones for us is uh, a customer in Japan that runs uh, genomic analysis on HANA. And this is a business process that used to take a day and now could run in seconds, which means that it could move from a back office, you know, laboratory 
analysis to maybe in the doctor's room while the visit is happening, you could do that analysis. So the potential impact is huge. We want to bring out such business cases at Safari. Mm. Now, one thing that is still emerging that I thought was powerful was took a closer look at Project Maui because I spent some time with the Streamwork team yesterday on an engagement here. And I was impressed by Maui, for those viewers who don't know, is a tie-in between Streamwork and HANA-based environments where you can essentially look at not only faster data, but how do I use that data to make decisions in a collaborative environment? And to me, that message is really going to resonate with, with uh, business leaders, CIOs, especially of global teams where people mm -hmm. are spread out in different places and yep. need to act upon mission critical information. Like you used some examples of promotions like we're running an expensive promotion that's not working. What are we going to do about it? Yep. We've got to deal with this now. Um, so this is coming down the pike. You shared with me on the whiteboard uh, a vision of this. Now this is a yep. little more still gathering momentum, still in ramp up, but tell us a little bit about the future. You, you put it more under 2013. You called it networks, how does the network picture fit in, the real-time Sure. Sure. Um, from, uh, from a vision perspective, 2011 was about real-time analytics, where we close the latency of information being gathered and analyzed. Uh, in VC 2012, it's all about real-time business, where we make uh, the information available for decision-making for business audiences. Uh, with Maui and others, if you're projecting out, I think it's the time for real-time business networks. And this is where the the coming together of things like HANA along with the business process and, and on the basis of that business process and data for people to come together and act on that data. I think with that what we will do is close the gap or the latency in collaboration. You have the information with the, the speed and processing power of HANA, now let's get people to actually look at that information, analyze and take decisions to actually change business. And I think that's the promise of things like Maui and others where we will have a cloud platform where we collaborate and bring decisions in real time on the basis of real time and fresh data. Yeah. Well, if you can do that, that is not your grandfather's SAP. I can Absolutely tell you that much. Right. That is yeah. definitely not your grandfather's SAP. What, what do you think is the, the biggest challenge to, to getting to that point? I think um, it's a challenge as well as an opportunity. I think it's, it's about rethinking IT the way we've been used to. So HANA, for example, challenged the fundamental assumptions around database technology. Some things that have been held sacred for a long, long time. Same thing around cloud. When we interact HANA with cloud or cloud with mobility or HANA with mobility, you will see a lot of sacred cows being left around. Yeah. So I think that's the challenge as well as an opportunity mm -hmm. for us to come in and simplify. And in many cases, it will be SAP technologies that uh, the next versions of these technologies will be far more simpler. I think it's it's both a challenge as well as an opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. Sacred cows going by the wayside. Well, folks, you, you heard it here. Vishal's team is based right here. You're right in the midst of it. So hope you enjoyed that update. See you, Sapphire. Thank you, John. Enjoyed Pleasure. talking to you.